welcome back to Add Art. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to draw three Easter eggs. Now, before we do, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Add Art and hit the bell. When you do, you'll be the first to know when I've released a new drawing like this one. But let's make a start on this excellent picture. First, we'll begin by drawing our egg in the middle. Let's come all the way down. Eggs are slightly wider at the bottom than they are at the top. Let's bring that all the way back up to the top. And we'll give our egg some eyes. One there, and another one. And have it looking out at us with a great big smile on its face. And let's put some decoration on the wrapper. So first we'll put some stripes in. Obviously you can decorate your egg as you please. If you don't want stripes, you can put spots on it. Okay, so there's our stripes. In some of these, we're going to put a zigzag pattern. Just going up and down, keeping inside that line. And then we'll miss one out and do the same on the next. And copy that above, almost like a headband. And then finally, very top. Okay, so let's give our egg a friend. We'll draw a smaller one in the distance here. And this one will just do the bottom because it's going to look as though it's been slightly unwrapped. Perhaps someone can wait for Easter before starting. So we'll have this sort of jaggedy foil that's been ripped open. And bring this line round. And have its egg centre poking out the top, almost like a bold head. And continue the foil just behind. We'll have a shine glinting off the chocolate. Two eyes, looking up, wondering what's gone on with its head, a little shocked mouth there, and this one's got spots on. So we can just cover its body in lots of different spots, some bigger, some smaller, I'm using these kind of half circles at the side to give the suggestion that they're going round the edge with some of these smaller ones. Okay, and let's put another egg over on this side. So again, coming down slightly wider at the base, bring it all the way round and up to the top. Two eyes in. Pupils looking out. And again, a happy smile. But you can choose whatever expression you could make them look slightly crazy if you wanted. Let's give this one some eyelashes. And maybe a star pattern. And I know stars can be quite tricky to draw. So if you prefer to do some more lines or spots, that's entirely up to you. Okay, 
right, so that's our eggs finished. They're looking extraordinary. Let's put a background in. Some people like to roll their Easter eggs down a hill. So I'll have some rolling hills in the background here. Bit on a nice sunny spring day. Bring this up to a hill. And maybe here we can have a blossom tree. There seems to be a lot of blossom at this time of year. Branches reaching up to the sun. We'll just put the branches in first and then we'll put the blossom in. I always just curve them up and up and up as though they're growing towards the light. trunk all the way down and then for the blossom I'm just going to put in these little circles it's a very fine blossom on trees but just filling in the gaps around these branches few little blossom leaves floating in the wind there. Okay, our tree's looking quite full. Let's put some clouds in. One fluffy cloud there. Another one just behind it, maybe a smaller one in the distance. And thankfully this is a sunny day, so we can have the sun just poking out behind the cloud. Hopefully it doesn't melt our chocolate eggs here. Just have a little shadow underneath each egg. some flowers, some daisies in the grass here. Notice they've started popping up now so we can have those looking a bit smaller in the distance. The bigger ones here in the foreground. shoots starting to grow. But there we have it, three excellent Easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with that one today and I hope you enjoy all the chocolate over Easter. Now, before I go, do be sure to check out all my other ad art tutorials like these. You can do this by clicking on my double pencil profile picture. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up like as it really helps my channel grow. Finally, if you know someone who loves to draw, why not share ad art with them and draw together? But that's it for today, and I hope to draw along with you again soon. Bye for now.